On December 8th, 2004, one of the greatest metal guitarists to ever walk the face of this earth was shot in a club in Columbus, Ohio. Dimebag Daryl died 18 years ago today. We're going to celebrate the life and times of the great Dimebag Daryl by showing you how to make his favorite drink, the Black Tooth Grin. All right, friends, we have Seagram's. We have Crown Royal. We've got a Coca-Cola Classic and a Jigger. Let's drink to dime. So the Black Tooth Grin is a fairly simple drink and it's going to involve a couple of different alcohols that I rarely ever pour, but that's okay because we are tribute, we are paying tribute to one of the greats today. Got a rocks glass. We're gonna do two ounces of Seagram 7. I can't tell you the last time I bought booze in a plastic bottle. I almost felt a little embarrassed walking out with it, but it's dime. You gotta do it for dime. All right, guys, let's get two ounces of Seagram's in this bad boy. One. And two. Now from there, we're done with the Seagram's. We're gonna switch over to the Crown Royal. The best part about Crown Royal is the bag it comes in. I haven't had Crown in a long time. Man, when's the last time you had Crown, huh? Let's see. Huh, still tastes the same. What do you know? Two ounces, Crown Royal. There's one. And two, holy smokes. So, for those of you who are mathematically challenged, that's four ounces of booze. That's not anything to sneeze at. Now, what makes it the Black Tooth Grin? A little bit of Coca-Cola Classic. And what we're gonna do with this Coke is we're going to put just enough in to give it a black consistency. We're not going to measure it. This is a straight up eyeball. So here we go. We just want it to be just enough to color it black, or black enough, I suppose. Maybe a little more, a little more. This is gonna be sweet. Now, for those of you who are not metalheads, Dimebag Daryl was the lead guitarist of one of the seminal metal bands that's ever existed, Pantera. Pantera innovated so much in the metal space with the way that they did grooves, the way that they did these riffs that got the whole crowd bouncing. For reference, go look up Walk, go look up Five Minutes Alone, uh, go look up I'm Broken. If you're really wanting to go deep, I highly recommend a couple of records. I think Vulgar Displays of Power uh, is probably my favorite. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with any of them. Even that last one, Reinventing the Steel, when things were getting weird behind the band, behind the scenes, that was still a really good record. When I was a young man, it was one of the first heavy shows I ever saw. Pantera gave a generation of young men an outlet for that anger, an outlet for that confusion of just being a young dude trying to figure out life. and. They did it in a way that was simultaneously heavy and aggressive, but you couldn't watch Dime on stage and not realize that that dude was having a ton of fun. He brought fun to heavy and aggressive metal. He also brought innovation in the way that he played virtuosity with a, with a level of chaos mixed. He was like a heavier version of Jimmy Page in that respect. And when, when Dime got shot, on stage doing what he loved to do, 
shall be so lucky as to go out doing what we love. But, you know, it took away the possibility that we'll ever, we're ever going to get more music from, from a once in a generation talent. Um, you know, I get a little, get a little emotional about that. You know, it was just a guy that really brought some elevated level of love to his art. And the world is not better for not having Dimebag Daryl in it. The world is never better for having lost people who live with that level of vitality and bring it to their art. We're all better for having that art in our life. And uh, it's just a real shame that it went out like that. So here we are on December 8th and we always, we gotta raise one to Dime. And that's what we're gonna do today. Dime was also a prodigious drinker. And the lore behind the black tooth grin is that it was kind of invented so that he could drink more. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. It's just people were always buying him drinks and shots and all this kind of stuff. So he invented this drink that kind of masked the, uh, the heavy levels of alcohol. And you know, what can you say? Uh, <laughs> the guy knew how to, knew how to live. Um, of course, to Dime, we miss you, buddy. Thanks so much for for all the music. Mm. This is a sweet cocktail. It is. Um, this is not a connoisseur's cocktail. It's not bad though. It, I'll tell you what. It isn't bad. I'll tell you. You know, he really got the. He kind of got the mix right. I will say. Uh, I will say that. You got a sweeter whiskey in Crown Royal. You got Seagram's, which is just whatever, kind of sweet as well. Um, and then with the Coke, so it's sweet on sweet on sweet. It's very one note that way, but it'll uh, it'll definitely get the job done. Actually, it's kind of a nice holiday cocktail in a way. I'll tell you though, one of these, <clears throat> damn, that bag there, oh boy. That guy was a monster. Uh, <laughs> one of these is probably enough. Um, you don't need a whole lot else in your night and you'll probably be feeling no pain. Um, that's the video for today, guys. I just wanted to show you how to how to make the black tooth grin. It's a very simple drink, obviously. Um, it's not something that you could probably order at a bar. I do believe this is a Dimebag Daryl trademark, but just wanted to show you how to make it. Uh, express, my, express my admiration for Dime um, and the, the hole that is left in all of us as fans of that genre of music for him not being around. And as we go into the holidays, I hope you're all having a great one. If you're missing somebody this year, uh, maybe let's celebrate their life a little bit. Huh? Let's celebrate them. Till next time. Great food to great friends, great spirits, great music. Have a happy holidays.